Hey there Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. Capricorn, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at love, money, and a general message. So stay tuned. Okay. Um, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Okay. And let's get into it. So for love, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? Um, so there may be past energies who are trying to come back in. Um, for your money, we have, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, okay? And for your general message, we have nurture. Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. And at the bottom we have Take Back Your Power. Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, so there may be something that you are wanting to manifest. And that manifestation may need your nurturing, your care. Your, your intentions being set, you know, but I feel like there's something that you really want. There's something that you want to bring to life. You want to bring down to the three room. Okay, so let's take a look at your tarot. Okay, what do we have for, for I almost called you Sagittarius, for Capricorn. What messages do we have for Capricorn in love? Give me a message for Capricorn in love, please. I hope everything is going well for you, Capricorn. Today is Easter, so happy Easter. And um, I hope, you know, you're able to celebrate and... Um, Fulfill your spiritual side as well as your, you know, celebration side, right? Okay, what do we have for Sag? The Judgment card. Having faith, the lovers. Wow. One more. Okay, the Seven of Cups. Okay. Interesting. At the bottom we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like there's there's some kind of grief, there's some kind of sadness right now that you're going through. Um, but I feel like you're I feel like you're still grateful for the things that you have. You know, you know that you haven't lost it all. You know, you still have something left. You know, and I feel like yeah, you may have been defensive. Um, you may feel very alone spending time with your own company, you know, in your own wisdom, following your own path. You know, we have the Three of Swords as well. This could be due to this person wanting to come in, wanting to reconcile, right? Because I feel like, yeah, there's sadness here. Uh, you may have been spending a lot of time alone, being a little defensive, a little in your feelings, you know, um, because of some kind of heartbreak that you've went through. But I feel like now you're becoming renewed. Now you're becoming um, whole again, right? Um, that's what I'm feeling. You're becoming whole again. Um, so I feel like with this judgment card, I feel like, you know, yes, you were out of your comfort zone for a while, but now you're like having this renewal, this renewed faith. And it could be due to this lovers here appearing. So there may be someone new coming into your life or this person. This may be the one that you wanted to come back um, because, you know, wanting to reconcile the situation. Uh, but I do feel like you're still kind of confused. 
you know, there's still a little bit of confusion there, Capricorn, because you're not really quite sure of, you know, if you're reconciling, you're not really quite sure of this person's intentions, but you feel like this person is meant for you, right? So it's very kind of up and down. Now, it could be that, you know, you're just locked in these illusions of what you see things as being. You know, um, I feel like, you know, you, you may see something one way and your person may see something totally different. But I feel like you have strong expectations, right? If that makes sense. Tell me about Capricorn's money. Give me a message for Capricorn's money. Okay, the Empress. Beautiful. Wow, the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. The Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Okay, and we also have the, the Two of Wands at the bottom. So I feel like you're planning. You may be planning a trip. You may have wanted to go on for all of your life. You know, you may be planning some kind of journey. Um, but I feel like you're you're very you're in this empress energy and your wishes are being fulfilled. You know, you feel very fulfilled. This is being very content. So you have what you need. You know, you may not want for too much, right? But um I feel like you know, you're in this manifestation mode, definitely. And I feel like that's the reason why we got this card here on the bottom. Take back your power. You know, set your intention to manifest blessings in your life. So I feel like that's the reason why this Empress is coming out here. Because you're able to do that. You're able to be very clear and setting your intentions. You have that clarity. And you're looking for that balance, setting those priorities, you know, because you're going after what you want, what you love. Okay, so I feel like your finances are very good. You're you're sitting there, the king of pentacles, you know, so you're sitting in your abundance. You're sitting in your stability. You're feeling very solid. You are a good investor. You know, you you may be good with money. You may be a saver. Right? Because he has this big bag of gold at his feet. You know? So I feel like you definitely have everything that you wanted. And what you don't want, you go out and get. Right? So I'm liking that for you. I feel like your money is looking really good right now. So let's take a look at your general message. Oh. Let's take a look at your general message. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Take a look at your general message. What's going on with Capricorn? <clears throat> okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Your general message is like, wow. Okay. So, at the bottom we have the Nine of Swords. Excuse me, the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you are locked in your thoughts. For some of you, this is a totally different message, right? But Capricorn, I feel like you're a prisoner of your own thinking. There's something that you're thinking about. It could be, you know, wanting something to mature, wanting something to grow maybe faster than what is growing. But yeah, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you definitely are looking for the answers you definitely feel like you don't have all the answers. You can't even make a choice in this in this situation, in this general message. You can't even make a choice. You're like caught. Look at this, the Ace of Wands in reverse. But we have the star in the upright. So yeah, you're you're so caught up in your emotions. It could be because you're healing. 
um, trying to find your balance, taking defense, you know, raising those boundaries. Um, I'm, I, yeah, I feel like you're blocking yourself from something from happening. You're definitely blocking yourself. You're actively working on something. Um, you feel like it's a lot of work. Like it's a lot of pressure. Because we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So you definitely feel like, you know, this is a struggle trying to work through whatever this is. I feel like it's very burdening. Right? Um, but I feel like what you just need to do is just release it. Just release it. Just let it go. Don't even worry about what that is any longer because obviously you're trying to put all your energy into this decision whatever this is and you can't even come up with a choice to make you know you can't even make the decision um because you're so caught up in you know being tied with the emotional side of it Right? Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Eight of Cups. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Eight of Cups. What is this? Okay. You don't feel like you're stable. You're waiting for some kind of news. Hmm. Four of Wands. You're waiting for success. You're waiting for the celebration. You're waiting. You're waiting for the cycle to end. For something to happen. Okay. Yeah, there, there's something that you're anguishly, anguishly waiting on. Right? And you're waiting for it to come through because you feel like that's where your success lies. That's where your happiness is going to lie. That's where you're coming into this celebration is this offer, this acknowledgement, you know? So I feel like you're, you're not able to move forward until you hear this. Until it comes through. You're, you're just stuck. You're like, I don't know if I should build, if I should release, if I should fight, if I should. You know, I feel like you're very conflicted. Because there's something, there's some information that you're waiting for. Um, I feel like that's why we have, look at the bigger picture. Yeah, there, there's some information that you're waiting for. And you, you won't feel whole until you receive it. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. Give me a message for this judgment card, the lovers and the seven of cups. Message for Capricorn. The strength. You're stronger than you believe. You're much stronger than you believe. Your communication, your confidence is going to be key in this situation. You know, that's what's going to push you through because you are capable. You already know you're capable, Capricorn. Now you just need to acknowledge, be strong, be confident, you know, and we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is something that's going to be very stable. You are going to have the communication that you need. You are going to be able to take action, you know, swift action. This is what well, I feel like. That this will be happening pretty fast, right? You, you're taking these lessons with you and you are walking away from something temporary and you're moving into something more permanent, okay? Um, so I feel like there's no need for you to be conflicted any longer because you have, you have what you need as far as love goes. I feel like, you know, that's all coming together, okay? Tell me about Capricorn's money. Give me a message for Capricorn's money, please. 
the nine of swords you you still feel like you're battling demons but you're so much ahead you know you're the magician you're the magician so and i feel like you're worrying for no good reason you still have worries but i feel like you're you're just worrying for no good reason because you're the magician whatever you're manifesting is coming about you know we you may not have the full support that you need you know you may not have people around you who are supporting you the way that you expect them to but you do have someone around you who you know is that one support you know who provides that healing that guidance who's that star that's that that beacon okay so that's beautiful okay now let's get a message for Capricorn's general message over here and let's get a message for Capricorn okay we have the nine of wands don't give up and be patient okay so for your general message we have you know stand your ground don't give up stand on what you believe in capricorn and be patient in your situation what you want is coming what do you what what you want is coming together but you just have to have patience in your situation i feel like this is definitely a blessing coming to you um with the temperance and i feel like you know in you're, you're finding some kind of meaning you're finding the meaning of the struggles that you you went through you're you're finding a good balance okay um but i feel like you know there's a need for you to be patient in this situation Okay, so it's coming forward. Um, you're going to get the answers that you need. You just have to um, be patient in your situation. You know, the answers are on the way. Okay, so that is what I have. We're going to go ahead and pull an angel, some angel cards for you. So we have facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Okay. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing, especially with this nine of swords being here. You're facing your fears. You're facing the inevitable, right? And we have divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay. So beautiful. So let's go ahead and get your angel number. Capricorn. We have one... Uh, we have 1010 growth. So spiritual awareness is opening you to all that you already see. I can't even read today. Let me start that again. A spiritual awareness is opening you to all that you are ready to see. Your destiny is being fulfilled. Keep your intentions pure with your eyes looking ahead. And you will continue to increase the growth that is here. Your affirmation. The more I invest awareness in my growth, the closer I continuously become to the outcomes I am seeking. Okay? So there's growth happening here. I feel like that's the reason why there's this hesitation, this um, feeling of needing to have patience right because you're growing you're currently going to through this spiritual growth okay so that's what i have for you capricorn so if this reading resonates like and subscribe if it doesn't take a look at your other at your other placements and 
Uh, again, happy Easter, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Until your next reading, love and light.